Hi guys, John Moore with you. Um, just this quick video on how I make uh, aerials from guitar strings. Um, I've been asked to do this. Well, I've been asked how I do this, and uh, I was asked again today, so I said I'd do a quick video on basically how I make it out of a guitar string. The string, which is is the uh, it's the last string. It's the heaviest string of the guitars. Uh, reason is I want the um, I want the springy texture. Basically, I just want that little bit of a spring. Otherwise, I could get, get a, a G string and get a bit of copper wire white white wind around the end. But in this way, you're paying the same for your string anyway because you can buy them individually, or you can get a broken one. It's, these ones are very rarely broken. Um, it's usually the lighter ones that get broken. Anyway, you need guitar string, the heavy one. This is the one that I use. This is the way I do it. Okay, uh, you need wire cutters you need um, a flat nose pliers a thin one okay you will need either a nail clipper or something similar to that a, a wire cutters I suppose straight edge wire cutters would do it I, I find this this works for me and um, uh, fine snips like if this was in good nick I'd use this but it isn't so you need a fine snips just to cut the fine wire. I'll show you when we get there. Anyway, to start off, you decide how long you want your aerial. So I want my aerial, say, that long. Okay. You measure it out to where you want the aerial and bang. Okay. You have your piece. Right. From there, get your long nose pliers. Hold it about that far from the end, so what was that, about five centimeters. Hold it from the end, get your nail clippers, fine gripper thingy, me jiggy with a pointy, as long as it will, as long as it will do this. Go in about three of the winds and give it a pull. And stop at that. Don't get carried away, not yet. Anyway, just give it a little pull and as you see what it will do is it starts to unwind the copper around from around the string in the middle right so just pull push that down see pull again release pull it down hold it pull again release hold it down pull again right get it to bring it now this is very it kind of, yes, it doesn't really get tricky, it doesn't get tricky at any stage. But this is where you got to kind of watch it, right? Bring it to around here, so you've got a bit at the end, and it's longer than what you actually want it. Longer than what you want it, remember, right? So grab your thing, bring it down to there, all right? So I've decided that's exactly how long I want the spring on that, all right? So find out where the spring is. Push it kind of down and outwards. All right. Reason is that you can get down and you can get right in there finer. I find a, a sprue cutter is ideal for it because it can get close up to the end. All right. Now you just tidy that off with a bit of uh, with a file or squash it down, whichever. You tidy it up anyway. All right. This end, what we do is we do the same again. We grab our pliers give it say decide how much how long I want the spring so I want the spring just to about the edge there all right I've got the length of my spring that I want come again start with our little thing remember out and pull and then pull stop that's about where I want it to be all right and out and then I cut off that all right same again tidy it up you know yourself I'm not going to go to the bother to tidy it up because I don't really want this area I'm only just doing it just to show you so you've got your aerial all right with its little bit at the end and your thing so when you get your model you drill a hole it's about 0.5 of a mil and super glue it in 
like that. Into the pop into your hole, get a super glue, that will hold it. Quite sturdy. And when it's held in place, they're springy, they're um a lot less fragile than the sprue the stretched sprue. They're a bit more um to scale. Uh it's even the whole way up, which a lot of those aerials are. Um, if you want to go for the, so the, the more modern type area where it's it's slightly tapered um, and they're usually joined in the middle. Um, how I do those ones, I don't know. I usually just go for this. Yeah, and you get away with it. You get away with it. Um, and, and, that's, and that's all it is. It's just a simple as that and it looks much more effective and much better than the spread than the stretched sprue in my in my opinion and that's what i've been asked to show okay lads there you go just a quick video how to make it and uh what less than six less than five minutes it took me to make it six minutes altogether including the waffles so catch you up in the next one lads uh i hope you learned something from it if you didn't sure you didn't if you did um it's just another little uh thing for the armory shall we say anyway catch up in the next one lads good luck